go. Oh, ayan. Yeah. Sige, oh. One, two. Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, my name is Kay Jasmine and welcome to Mommy Escape Films. Tapos mapatugtugin ko yung video ko. Okay, sige. Oh. Kasi makat ko. Okay. For today's video, we're gonna give you a tour. <laughs> Bing. Go. For today's video, we're gonna give you a tour to our new travel home. Trailer. <laughs> Go. For today's video, we're gonna give you a tour to our new travel home trailer, the Coleman Lantern LT 17B. So, tapos pa ato yung video na. So. Just to give you a little back, a, uh, just to give you a little B, <laughs> just just to give you a little bit of backstory here. So before COVID, um, we were big time theme park enthusiasts. So whenever me and my husband get day, get days off from work, we would always go to theme parks like Disneyland, Sea World, or San Diego Zoo. But then COVID happened, so all of them had to close down. And so that's when we discovered our love for camping. So at first, we only started with our pop-up tent. We would go to Joshua Tree with our pop-up tent. And then we made a little upgrade. We got like a little teardrop trailer. I'm going to show you a picture below. which. We love to. It's cute. It has like a little bedroom and a little kitchenette. But then again, we thought of taking it up to the next level and buying a legit trailer. So that's when we got <laughs> That's when we got this trailer. We've been eyeing this trailer for quite a while now. Probably since May or June. But Camping World, by the way, we got it from Camping World. Camping World to told us that even if we pre-order it around that time, we would probably get it the next, early next year. But then one lucky day, my husband is just randomly looking at Camping World site and he found that they have one current day current in stock. Okay. And then he found out that Arizona Camping World has one in Avondale. Oh, okay, wait, sorry. And then he found out that Avondale, Arizona Camping World has one currently in stock. So we didn't waste our time. We called that time and we made a reservation we drove six hours to Avondale Arizona and then six hours back and we went home with the newest addition to our family I'm gonna call her CC <laughs> okay so we <laughs> we just laugh so now we're gonna start the tour so this is how it looks like um, outside it has this power awning that you can control inside it has this little like it's not really little it's a big storage this is where we're keeping all our um, trailer stuff like everything that we need to keep, to make it function basically our water hoses our electrical plugs are in there and it also has um, uh, the propane tank propane tank here in front Graded. Huh? Upgrade, upgraded so my my smart husband <laughs> he's taking the video um upgraded ano tawag dito? jack it's like an electrical jack power jack so basically it's you just push this to make it go higher or make it lower so if you guys are interested, just put a comment below and then I'll link it to you guys. I don't know where he got it. It's Harbor Freight. <laughs> and then, um, well, we'll go, go inside now. So, by the way, just to give you... Um, okay. Um, before, I, before we even picked up this trailer, I joined a, a Facebook group um, named Coleman Lantern Owners. So, I just wanted to give them credit because most of the ideas 
uh, I got from them. So everything that I, um, the way they, that I decorated my trailer, I got all the ideas from them. So thank you guys. And so here we go. And also I got um, most of my stuff from Amazon, Ross and 99 cents. <laughs> So this is the master bedroom. Um, it is a short queen size mattress. The trailer actually came with a different mattress but it was so thin and our backs are very sensitive so we decided to make an upgrade. So we got this from Amazon. Um, it's like a, a more firm mattress. And then um, this is like a, a more storage um, lobby, like more storage space. And then I got those from um, Amazon too, from uh, inspired by the Coleman owners. Um, this is where I'm planning to put like our uh, stuff that we need, that we need to grab easily, like our cell phones, flashlights, Cali's milk and stuff. It also came with an AC here. And then it has like an electrical um, outlet in there. And then here actually, my cameraman is so slow. <laughs> you can install a TV in there, but I don't think we would be installing TV anytime soon. So in the meantime, I um, I installed this like uh, hanging hooks, which uh, uh, I'm planning to, which where we're planning to hang our jackets and our sweaters. And then I got these plants from Ross. I got this little basket for our um, sleepers that we will use inside because I'm not planning to use the sleepers that we use outside here. My bedroom has like a... has like a very big storage here. So slow. <laughs> And um, this is where I'm plant. This is where we're keeping our clothes. So I actually bought four of these. So one for me, one for RJ, one for Kelly, and one for like the jackets and towels. And then I also got this like dirty bin, dirty clothes bin from Ross. So that's that. So it has a little. It has a very big storage for a very small trailer. And then we'll go to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Let's start with this. It has like a, it has a cabinet in here. This is where I'm keeping all my cleaning supplies, my trash can, my sweeper, and my broom. And then I installed this um key like hooks. key hooks where we're gonna keep our keys. I also installed this um I don't have the paper towel yet, like to put our paper towel. We didn't drill a hole. It's all just stick tape like just this is all by tape so this is what the kitchen looks like um it has like a sink in here and a two burner stove it, you have like a space here to do all your cooking and then i got this um this drying mat from amazon so you can use this um to dry your dishes and then here show them here okay so this is how i designed it i got this plastic uh, baskets from 99 cent store this is where i'm planning to put our condiments our um this washing um equipment like stuff and then we have our knives and our scissors here so my baby won't be able to reach it and then here we have some gloves and cleaning wipes and then you have some an extra bin and then i got this from target this is like a toiletry basket where i'm planning to put our toothbrush and our facial wash because we don't have a sink in the bathroom so i'm thinking we were gonna to uh, brush our teeth in the sink and then and then it has this little um storage here where we're keeping the remote for the ac and then the remote for the heater so it came with a heater and, heater and it electric heater and it also can be it can serve as like a night light because it, it has light and which actually changes color and everything and then it has like three drawers here where i have our, all the cooking utensils that we need um some more other stuff like a can opener peeler uh chopping board 
and then we have my uh, disposable utensils in here so usually when we go camping we just use disposable um, uh, utensils and paper plates because it's just much easier for us and then we have our dining area I got the my pillows and all of this from Ross dining area which also can be converted to a bed I'm gonna show you a video after this and then under this excuse me under this uh, chairs is also um, storage area so here I have our pots and pans and all our um, cooking cooking supply cooking stuff and then I have by the way I have Arya's bed here so this is gonna be her little hideout place and then on the other side our more um, storage area and so this is where I'm planning to put our food like our canned goods and our snack but like while we're driving to our camping site it'll be pro it'll probably be in, in our car we're just gonna transfer here when we arrive there just so it doesn't get bad I got this carpet from Ross just to make it a little foamy so and then it has like the lights here that you can just press if you need. It also came with a radio which you can connect as an aux and Bluetooth. Bluetooth. And then another storage area here. This is where I'm keeping my paper plates, paper cups, a rice container because rice is life with Filipinos and an extra uh, plastic basket here. So what I uh, like I'm... I'm kind of a minimalist. I didn't have really to put anything in it because like the trailer itself for me, I love how they made it. It's like, it's very cute, very classy and very modern as well. Um, one thing that we loved about this trailer even before we got it is because it came with bunk beds. So isn't it perfect? So really if you wanted to, you can sleep like six people here, one here, one here, two here and two on the master bed. So it came with bunk beds which my toddler loves she loves hanging out here she's not sleeping there yet and then here too it came in a bunk bed and it has like a little window here as well with some lights there under these bunk beds are more storage but like this part has the um electrical hose and some of the wiring so you couldn't really put anything in it but um on this part are more storage area so this is where i keep our extra blankets and our extra stuff that we're not using at the moment and then it came it has this is the fridge so this is how it looks like we're actually going to pinnacle campground today so we turned it on um last night so it's actually cold now and then it has this microwave tiny microwave in here And then we're gonna go to the bathroom. I got this um, like storage bin, like hanging storage bin from Amazon. I'm planning to put probably Cali's diapers or some snacks or breads if we need to. And then this is the bathroom. So my husband didn't want me to drill any hole in any part of the trailer. So basically everything that I installed here are all just by tape or command strip. Uh, but I got this um, hanging towel hook from Target. So this is very convenient. This actually came with the trailer already, so I didn't drill it. And then I got this mirror from Target, so it's already hanging like that. And I think this is the famous cabinet from the Coleman owner group, um, which we got from Amazon. It is a, a toilet, a, a tissue, uh, toilet paper holder. And it also has like more storage area in there. And then we um, secured it with command strips. So I have like my trash can there. I have my toilet bowl cleaner in here. And this is how it looks like. So I believe you push this to flush it. I got the max from 99 cents store. I got this from Amazon. This little, little happy camper. Um, 
shower curtain. And then the shower is actually just okay for me and my husband and my kid, I guess. But if we're gonna have friends um, which, uh, who's taller than us, it's gonna be hard for them. So I have this um, little stool that they can sit, so that they can sit down while doing a shower. And then I have the mat too in there. And here, I'll show them this. I got this um, shower mesh shower um, curtain with pockets from Amazon. This is where I'm planning to put our shampoo, our conditioner, and everything that we need to take a bath. Then I also got this shower caddy from Amazon. So we can put our soap in here. It has little holes. So everything is just um, hanging. We didn't drill a hole in it. So I think that's it. I think that's it. We're actually going to Pinnacle National Park today. So I'm going to give you an update. How will it go? And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like any of the stuff that I showed you guys, please put a comment below and then I'm going to send you the link. And thank you and have a nice day, you guys. Enjoy the rest of the day.